I miss my long hair that goes down my back and keep me warm, keep my neck warm. Like, I really miss it. So, um, I just hope it doesn't rain because then my hair going to be like, poof. <laughs> Joella Hansen here. Um, I am about to get my hair dyed. I will show you the color later. Um, since it'll be a little messy, I can't really show you guys like the whole process, but in between I'll try to come back and show you how it's looking. So I should say bye bye to my natural hair color, which is this brown. Um, as you can see and I am going to try to go red <laughs> so um, I'll show you guys like I said in between and I'll be right back all right y'all so I came back with the light to show you how it looks so far you probably can't really see it but um, it's coming out pretty good oh yeah see there we go <laughs> all right so i'm almost done my sister's doing it for me and oh yeah my hair gonna be blondish red all right hey y'all this is the color so it was supposed to be like a super red but it's like a auburn uh blonde this is the box that i use the box of dye is satin um, ultra vivid fashion colors so this is how the box looks and I use I only used one um, two which was about three ounces so this is how the tube looks and this is the brand it was seven satin 7r which is the color use the 30 developer so it was only one um i still have that left over so my hair is blow dried oh my gosh like i haven't blow dried and put heat like this to my hair in a while you see how full it looks but my hair looks very dry so just want to give a run around so I'm gonna flat it. I'm starting off by parting the back of my hair. I have my flat iron. I'm just gonna flat iron it. How I do this myself is I just feel for where my scalp is and make sure I don't burn myself. Now right here I'm just showing you how I flat iron the back of my hair. Um, I showed you the, my edges around the back so here I'm getting my ends and making sure I feel for my scalp and that that hair is flat enough so I can move on to the next part. And this back part, I kind of go in like not too much of a thin line going across horizontally. So from my left ear to the right ear or vice versa. But as you can see, I just finished that first section and I split that in half. Now I'm going to another little section to flat iron that part. And I like flat ironing in it in smaller sections because 
the heat can penetrate um, that section only of the hair so it could focus more on getting it flat so now I'm just gonna flat iron the rest of that and make sure my ends are straight enough on that section and I will come back when that bottom half is finished okay so i am loving my hair color um i'm sorry about the light but i am going to show you how my hair is looking so far Yeah, like how I did that turn around, you feel me, you know? Okay, sorry, I am like too excited. So I'm gonna show you how I do. I just hit my knee, oh my God. So I'm just gonna do this side. Um, I already, as you can see, so I don't know if you can tell, but it looks red, but at the same time in certain light, it looks blonde so I want to show you like this I don't know if you can see it maybe if I go like this better you see it looks red but it looks blonde too blonde red so I'm just going to show you how I do my front flat iron my hair I'll tell you how I feel about my hair being dyed um, this is the first time that I have had my hair like fully dyed once before I had my hair in highlights um, They were actually like blonde highlights and It was cool But this time my hair is actually whole head dyed and When I tell you that when I was washing so it's all squeaky, but when I was washing my hair I was washing it and I was conditioning it and I just felt like my hair was like super dry although I had the the gloves on when I took the gloves off my hair was like basically rough and I'm like oh like I totally forgot how rough dye is and it's like super harsh on your hair i use shea moisture's uh coconut and sorry y'all my arm it just um coconut and hibiscus line uh shampoo and that doesn't have any sulfates in it and i thought that would help and it didn't so i put i use trader joe's conditioner and that kind of helped it a little bit but i was like oh my gosh like it's super dry i was in my bathroom and i came out to my mom and my sister in the living room and i was like y'all like i love the color but my hair is freaking dry <laughs> like my ends feel harsh my hair like this part feels silky and then once I get down to the ends like it starts feeling harsh and that might be because I haven't had a trim in a while so like my ends look very bad but it's like oh my gosh like I haven't experienced my hair like that in so long since I've had my highlight so far I am liking this color as I showed you earlier the color looks like it's blonde but then it has like a red tint because of the auburn blonde that I got and I am liking it like I am happy since my sister came over and did my hair um I wanted to try something different that's the whole reason why I'm doing like a different color I was going for the a brighter actual red but the box that I picked up was not like that red I just went on the safe side and got this color and I do like it so this is how I flat iron the top part now I usually don't use a comb until afterwards but I just make sure I get to my scalp now. 
this flat iron i've had this for so long it's called global beauty network ink and i've had this flat iron for so long it has like an on off button so it doesn't and then it has a red light but it doesn't really have a temperature um that you set it to so as hot as it gets when you plug it in that's how hot it is so now i'm using a comb to just go back so yeah y'all when i get it pressed like don't get me wrong when i get it pressed i like how it's super straight but i like the fullness that my hair gives when i do it myself with the flat iron so that's why a lot of times before i actually started going on my natural hair journey i was flat ironing in my hair all the time i always had uh, straight hair and I missed it I'm not gonna even lie I missed it and I feel like this is the cool time to do my hair again like this and it's cold I miss my long hair that goes down my back and keep me warm keep my neck warm like I really miss it so um, I just hope it doesn't rain because then my hair gonna be like I'm just finishing this top part and I have another section to go but I am going to do that part off camera because it's probably going to take me a while to do that um so i can have it like perfect so i just kind of like bump it underneath to make it like when it goes down it flows this is how that side looks and i just like to put my hair in a part going straight back right here and just swoop this to the back of my ear and let that fall down so I'll be back to show you after I do this part. All right, y'all, I am done. And I just want to show you how my hair looks. Um, so this is the final touches. I'm not sure if you can see it. actually gonna add some smooth and shine polishing a uh, silk and sleek this much in my hand and just rub it together rub it together in my palm put over my hair if you did like the video um don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye